Jet Set Radio, baby. Jet Set Radio, honey. Jet Set Radio, baby. Yeah, we can do that. Now let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. As the poet said, let's talk about it. Let's talk about six months. Six months I've been sitting at home. People asking me, hey, Johnny, why haven't I seen any footage of Power Pro Wrestling? What happened to Power Pro? What happened to that 16th episode? Let's talk about 12 of the greatest professional athletes in the sport of professional wrestling being out of work. Let's talk about a lawsuit. Let's talk about what's going on, much as we can. Because you see, folks, the reason you haven't seen the 16th episode of Power Pro Wrestling, the reason you haven't seen so much as fan cam footage of that event, is because Power Pro Wrestling is currently embroiled in a legal battle. And I don't know how much I can really tell you. I don't know what I'm legally allowed to say. I don't think I can tell you who, but I'm going to tell you what, where, and why. Dallas, Texas, episode 16, the last episode of Power Pro Wrestling, season one. We sold the building out, no paper tickets, the first legitimate wrestling sellout in Dallas in the last 30 years. An individual appeared during that program, and yeah, he was allowed to wrestle for us. An individual appeared for one night only in our ring, fought a hell of a match, and went back up north the very next day. But we can't show you that match, because let's just call him the Evil Empire won't let us. They say they own that man's likeness. And him showing up, well, that was just fine, but it can't be broadcast. So we can't sell tapes, can't air it on TV, can't put it on YouTube. So for six months, Power Pro Wrestling's been fighting this, trying desperately to get this episode out to you, the wrestling fans. The TV deal is on hold. Wrestlers, the ones under contract, including your Golden Crown champion, they're sitting at home, not being allowed to ply their craft. Me and DK, we're sitting at home, having to turn down bookings. The ring crew, production staff, they're sitting at home. Most of them furloughed under non-compete clauses, keeping them from looking for jobs elsewhere in this sport. And who do I blame? One man. The one man responsible for bringing that individual to power pro wrestling. My old friend Tommy Boy. And I don't want to be responsible for any terroristic threats, so that's what I'm going to call him, Tommy Boy. Because just like the movie, he's a numbskull and a screw-up who gets by on nepotism and happenstance. Dumb luck. In a just world, Tommy Boy, you'd be destitute and homeless according to your skill and ability. And on God, if this was five years ago, I'd take a baseball bat to every piece of glass you own. Is that too harsh? No. You put Power Pro Wrestling through financial hardship. You've cost me work. You've cost everybody who worked under you work. And you're sitting back cushioned by your daddy's money. You're not even worried about it. So no, that's not too harsh. It's not even harsh enough, but I'm a kinder, gentler man than I used to be. So I was just wanting to tell all the wrestling fans listening to the sound of my voice exactly what's been going on, why there's no Power Pro Wrestling, because the Empire's knocking at our door. Because Tommy Boy, you brought a monster into Power Pro Wrestling, and his masters came right after him. But the Empire ain't won yet. And as soon as we can, we're going to get the people the show they've been waiting for. Power Pro Wrestling ain't dead. I can go for some steak. Omaha steak.